Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's see the next name reaction that is Benzidine Rearrangement. If you talk about the statement, what we are observing? Acid catalyzed rearrangement of hydrozobenzenes to 4 comma 4 dash diamino biphenyls. The 4 comma 4 dash diamino biphenyls are commonly called as para benzidines. So by using this particular reaction, what we are doing, we are synthesizing the parabenzidine compound by using hydrozobenzene reactants in presence of acid. Let's see the general equation. The reactant is what? Hydrozobenzene. Phenyl ring NH, NH phenyl ring. This is commonly called as hydrozobenzene. The hydrozobenzene is subjected to what? Acid catalyzed reaction, thereby what we are getting, this is biphenyl moiety. The biphenyl moiety at para position we are having what? Two amino groups. That's why it is commonly called as para benzidine. The mechanism of this particular conversion is very, very, very simple. Let's see the mechanism. So initially we are having what? Hydrozobenzene. Hydrozobenzene is initially treated with what? Acid. Already we know that in case of hydrozobenzene, we are having two nitrogen atoms or not. So each nitrogen atom is having lone pair of electron. It donates its lone pair of electrons to the what? H plus ions or not. So in solution, we are having two H plus ions. So these two nitrogen atoms are donating their lone pair of electrons to two H plus ions. Thereby what is happening? We are getting NH2 positive charge. NH2 positive charge. Here, this particular step is very, very important. Here, the people are using the terminology called as, uh, this is an example of 5 comma 5 sigma tropic rearrangement. It is an example of 5 comma 5 sigma tropic rearrangement. It means that what? We are going to have the connection between two carbon atoms which are at the fifth positions. Let us see why we are calling it as a 5 comma 5 sigma tropic rearrangement. With respect to this positive charge, that is number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Similarly in the right side also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In order to satisfy the valency of both the nitrogens, what we are doing, we are going to cleave this particular single bond. Cleavage of the single bond is producing a pi bond between the benzene, carbon and nitrogen. Thereby what is happening? These pi bonding electrons are forming a pi bond in this way. These pi bonding electrons move towards the fifth position. At the fifth position we are having the minus charge. The minus charge is going to attack on the fifth position of the second carbon. Thereby what happens? This minus charge is attacking at this position. Thereby, these pi bonding electrons involving in the conjugation. Here, see this one. Already we have cleared this bond. The nitrogen is going to get the positive charge. That's why here we are giving electrons. That is going to produce a pi bond. So, that is commonly called as what? The formation of 5 comma 5 sigma bond. That's why we are calling it as 5 comma 5 sigma tropic rearrangement. So, this step is very very simple. In order to fulfill the aromatic character of both the phenyl rings, what we are doing, we are using these two hydrogens. We are removing these two hydrogens in the form of H+. Thereby, what is happening? This pi bond is creating its aromatic character. Thereby, nitrogen is going to get minus charge. Already positive charge is present. We are giving the negative charge, positive and negative both will be neutralized. So, in this case also similar kind of situation, this proton is removed and it is involving in the conjugation, thereby nitrogen will take the minus charge, already positive charge is present, so both will be neutralized. Thereby we are coming up with what? Parabenzidine compound. It's very very simple mechanism or not. Let's see the applications. In the first application, what we are observing? Hydrozobenzene we have taken, at the ortho position we have two bromines. Simply what happens, this bond is subjected to cleavage, we are considering it as a what? 1-1 one, one bond, first bond. The first bond is subjected to cleavage, then which bond will be formed? 
fifth bond will be formed. The fifth position and fifth position is going to be connected. Thereby, you will come up with a biphenyl. And two amino groups at ortho position, we are having bromines. Similarly, in case of second example, in the second example, what we are observing, the two nitrogen atoms are having some substitution, methyl substitution. Similar kind of situation takes place. The cleavage of this one one bond and formation of five five bond. It is going to produce the substituted amine at the para position. In case of the third example, see this one. Whenever we have the substitution at the para position, see this example. In this case, we are observing a substitution at the para position or not. That's why what happens? We will not get the para benzidine. What we are getting? Semidines, ortho semidine and para semidine. Semi means what? Off. In the previous case, what happens? This bond is cleaved. Both the nitrogens are at the para position in the form of the amine groups. But in this case, what happens? See this one. One nitrogen group is in between the two phenyl rings, and the another nitrogen will be in the form of NH2. Half benzidine, commonly called as what? Semidine. The similar kind of situation we are getting the other byproduct in this way. Ortho semidine. So the attacking may be takes place at the para position or it may be takes place at the second position also. So thereby we are getting two different kinds of the products. So this is all about your benzidine rearrangement.